Hello, it's Miss Havisham. I'm up at Hadley Sidge again. Just to talk about a few things that I didn't get a chance to talk about last time. And also, to get a few more close-ups. So, one thing I did discover was that these places were actually Druid in origin. Now, the Druids, they were the actual priest class and the judges. And that means that that's why we get the word magistrate because that is derived from the word magic. And so they would decide on punishments for criminals. Now, the punishment for criminals would actually be death by burning. Now, they believed in the Thunder God, which is the father of life. And the Thunder God is also the Oak God, who is Baal, or Baal, which is B-E-I-L, Baal. And that's who the Druids worshipped, who was the creator of all things. And this was symbolised in the sun. There was no appeal against the decision once that judgment had been made. If any of the judges, druid judges or magistrates made a decision then if the person actually wouldn't accept that decision then they would then be excommunicated and that was a fate worse than death really because they would then be ostracised and would not be given any food, shelter or heat and they will be shunned by everyone. In other words, they might as well be dead. Now these places, of course, were not built as churches or places of worship. They became that later. The ground's uneven. <laughs> now, the meaning of the yew trees is transference, passage, and illusion. The druids were also the judges, priests, and poets, and it was all in one. all in one personality and that's why there's so many poems were written by the druids and these are people like Dryden, Wordsworth, um, Tennyson, all these different poets they were all druids and the, the poetry they spoke of was all about nature, water, waterfalls, rocks, all these different things in nature that they wrote about. Mm -hmm. I'm just walking around. Stonework, I know. I like to see the 
stonework. Now, the, the festival days, festivals were the most important one was Beltane, which is, it means Bail Tin, the fire of Bail, and the other one was also All Hallows, which is Sam, Sarwain, which we now call Halloween. It was All Hallows, and then they changed it to All Saints Day. And they used to do their festivals around the cairns or cairns, which was a pile of stones. And they would put the pile of stones over the body of one of the dead people and then have a celebration around the stones. So this, these were called cairns. Now the epithet Carnaeus was given to Apollo, the sun god. That was Greek. This was the landscape that Charlotte Ronty saw when she came in 1845 and was inspired to write the book, the story Jane Eyre, which was autobiographical really. It was based on her own life. the demons around the top. They weren't the water spouts. They were actually demonic characters. Thank you for watching.